So he's got really bad scald. You can see he's barely walking on his front legs. And I didn't bring the spray down with me. So I could have caught him and um, treated him. By the time I get back to the shed and back down again with it, they'll have finished eating. So I'll have to catch him later. Scald is such a nasty um, issue. I can, I was, that was me throwing the bucket over the fence. So, what a pain. So he's crippled with scald and he's a ram lamb, so I'm gonna have to not allow him to breed. He's very good looking, but um, definitely has scald issues and I don't wanna pass that on to other people. So, you can see how he's walking half squatted because his front legs are hurting. Right. That's a job for later after breakfast. What I can do is shake a bucket and get all the flock to come in here to eat and he'll hopefully follow and I'll be able to treat him then. But, um, It'll be too late by the time I go up to the sheds. It's a beautiful day. Look, the beach is coming out, the horse chestnut, the weeping willow. Now it's a race between the oak and the ash. That is an ash tree and that's an oak tree. Ash before oak, you're in for a soak before ash you're in for a splash so dry some actually it looks like the oak tree is coming out oh they both might be better go and have a closer look We haven't had any rain in ages, but there's still plenty of grass because of the heavy dews. And there's quite a bit of growth, which is good. Not a huge amount of growth, not as, most as, some, as much as some years, but it's much better than others. Here's my nettle patch. I have a huge nettle patch here on the farm for all those butterflies, wasps, moths that use the nettle as a home, a feeding ground, a breeding ground, an egg laying ground. This is only the beginning of it. There's loads down there. This is where I collect nettles that I'm going to eat and make nettle soup. There are the sheep after eating going to the water tanks underneath the horse chestnut. Oh, there's that lame lamb. Okay. He'll be treated before the day is out. Scald is so quick. Comes up and affects the animal, cripples it, and you treat it and it goes away. Thank goodness.
So those are our woods, some of our woods. The water tank is over there. And here's more of our woods. And my nettle patches. One of the coolest sounds that Deirdre and Bob didn't record was the sound of wasps. It's amazing. These dry bits here, it's a rasping sound. And wasps, to make their paper nests, will peel this back. And it's a sound you can hear from quite some distance, or at least I can, because I know what I'm listening for. It's like, you know when a sheep is in trouble, you can hear the change in the voiceal tone. Or when a yo is lambing, you can hear it and you know a yo is lambing. So it's the same sort of, the sounds of nature are very tonal. And if you're aware of them, you can hear them. And the rasping of these, of wasps, peeling these to make their paper nests is a very distinctive sound. They'll peel these and dried wallflowers. So that's why you want to leave this kind of stuff in your garden for the wasps to build nests. And wasps are important, believe it or not. How are you, little messy? You're turning into a beautiful lamb. You need to be weaned soon. This is one of the Yolands lambs I think I'm keeping. She's well marked and I like her breeding. Hey, Becky. How are you, old girl? Yeah. How are you, old girl? With her son. And her daughter. Hello. How are you? How are you? Yes. You're such a sweetie. Oh. And yes, top knot is staying, just so that you know. Bit of good news. Somebody's bought her to stay on the farm. So top knot is going to remain here on the farm. And we will all see her slowly develop, mature, meet the rams, and then eventually lamb. She won't lamb until 2024 because she will go in lamb in 2023. So there you go. There's some news for you. Look, and she, for some reason, she loves going into nettles and eating amongst the nettles. Look, she puts her head right down into the nettles. I don't know many sheep who do this, but she certainly does. She loves eating grasses in the nettles. And she always has. From up in the orchard, she was doing the same thing. Not many sheep do that because of the stinging aspect, but she doesn't seem to mind at all. She's as tough as old boots is our little <coughs> crystal. Top knot crystal. Isn't that right, crystal? I'm too busy eating grasses amongst the nettles to even pay you any heed. But there she is, eating grass amongst the nettles, which other sheep avoid. <laughs>